up y'all so this is my very first youtube channel video whatever you want to call it and i'm giving y'all a tour of my very first luxury car so i got a basically brand new car 2020 lexus is 300 you know got a little room room under the hood um she's so cute she's white her name is coco nice beautiful like cream interior so i'm gonna show you guys like a little tour of the car and of course you're gonna get some like outside glimpse of the car too because she's so cute and sporty like i love her that's my bae so stay tuned for that if y'all want to see the rest So we are coming here with a force, yeah. Blessing to your reef and we go it's in a handful. Oh, when I rise on post. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. We have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful. Blessing to all from the night, man. So this is the interior of the car. Here is the steering wheel with the beautiful Lexus logo. So I'm a little bit mad. I'm not sure if I should or if I shouldn't. Y'all let me know. Y'all know how the girls be having them little radazzled, rhinestone bedazzled um, car logos? I seen some of those on Amazon for this car and I was thinking about getting it. But I don't know if it's doing too much. Like... I'm extra, but like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like media extra. I'm not sure if I want it or not in this car, but I'm thinking about getting it. And then over here, we have the push to start button. And I did get one of the little bedazzle things for this. And I thought it was so cute. I think it's doing just enough for this car. Um, one thing that I did have to get used to compared to this car, because before this, I had a a Mazda Speed 6 and I also drove a Nissan Altima the push to start button for those cars are down here um, but for this one it's up here it's an adjustment but I actually like it I think it's a little bit more convenient um, so I'm just gonna you know get her up a little bit turn her on so y'all can hear how she sounds there we go Coco do your thing girl do your thing I love me some cocoa. All right. Um, one other thing that I not necessarily love about this car, but I don't love it and I don't hate it. All right. So is the middle. So Lexus in general, it's a luxury vehicle, but it's not all the way luxury, if you get what I'm saying. They basically are more appealing to individuals who actually want a better quality vehicle versus just a luxury car that looks pretty in the inside has all these gadgets so definitely the inside of this car it's not like um like a comparable car like a c a cla it doesn't have all that technology but it still has the basics like you can hook up your phone it has its navigation system it has the phone, um, radio, Sirius XM, all that crap that everyone wants. Bluetooth, of course, the little radio crap. One thing that I thought was so weird, um, I'm a 90s baby, late 90s baby, is that it has a CD player. So definitely the interior isn't all that, but I just love this car so much. I, I'm not really big on technology, so it doesn't bother me. And this is my first like intro to luxury car. This is my dream car at 23 years old. My future car after this will most likely be like um, a Mercedes, probably a C-Class, but it's definitely giving what she's supposed to give. Um, it has like the terrain shift here so you can change the gears. So it has an echo version, a normal push and a sport so even though this is a sports car typically i'm just doing um 
regular mileage like through the city so i'm usually using an eco i did make a road trip in this car from basically massachusetts to new york city um and it was pretty good it did about half a tank to get there so that was great i have driven her in sport mode and she she gives that nice little raw it's cute it's comfortable it's not doing too much but it's doing just enough for it in general um so over here on this side of the car i got a little perfume thing that is so cute it's basically like a fragrance that people use for their cars i got this from shein and it matches like the razzle dazzle bedazzle whatever the hell you want to call it and it has like the cute little like glass which i love and you can fill this up with your own like fragrance or perfume, things of that sort. So I did that as well. And lastly, what I loved and also got from Amazon. Sorry guys for the glare. I'll turn you guys on the side so you can see. Are these little hooks. So this right here is a purse hook. On the other side, you can see it. I got these from Amazon as well and they're really convenient you can put your purse there you can put your coats there so the car isn't a mess that's what the back looks like a regular compatible back um another thing that i love about this car that all of my cars always had was a sunroof so this one has a cute little sunroof um love it i'm always driving with it down um another thing that i also do love about this car is the mirrors so the mirrors here automatically shift so when it's nighttime this will change color so that you're able to see the cars that are in back of you it also lets you know where you are on the maps so right now i'm southeast that's the way my car is facing it also has all the luxury perks of course like um brake assist so like when i get too close to a car it automatically brakes or it pushes down on the brake a little bit more so that we come to a complete stop before like avoiding a collision. It has the sensors for both of the mirrors. So if a car gets too close to me or I'm gonna, you know, put on my Blinka and transfer over to the other lane, I can know if there's a car there, it'll make a little beep beep at me. Or if I'm backing up, it'll do the same thing as well. So those are a few key features that I love about this car. Um, definitely love her so much she's beautiful she's pretty she's sporty she's giving what she's supposed to give especially at my age um definitely a good beginning luxury car and i love her so much one other thing that i also did install that i want to let you guys know are my puddle light all right guys so i also got some puddle lights I think that's how you're supposed to say it um so you know when you open your door and you see like on i don't know like i don't know instagram or something you see the girls open their door and then they see the logo of the car not all luxury cars come like that um my car did not come like that so what i did is i ordered some off of amazon i think it was like 13 dollars, and i installed them myself really simple really easy and guys it just brings the feel of the car to a next level so when it's dark outside you can see the logo on the ground so when i'm getting in on my car it gives it a more luxury feel it makes you feel like you're that girl so definitely love that too what i'll do for you guys is i'll insert some clips here so you can see um basically how it looks at night it might be from like snapchat or something of that sort because i'm not sure if i have any videos here but i'll try to get a glimpse of that for you so you guys can see everything um but in the meantime yeah this was just my car tour i hope you guys really enjoyed this video with me and if you have any other like recommendations cute little things that i should put in the car if you think i should get the rhinestone um logo drop it in the comments and also feel free to subscribe follow me on instagram all that this is my first youtube video and i hope you guys really liked it and you liked me so believe i believed everything we have last so you